an attempt to uh, get at a universal that everyone can identify with, and that's why I use translucency in representing people because it. Uh, I always thought, well, you're representing one race or mm. another. Right. Uh, is there a way of pointing to the universality of uh, of, of the human, the human being experience and the spiritual essence of the human being, which you really revolutionized as a medium in a sense? I mean, it's been around, but you somehow you were able to grind body and spirit into one image. It's a symbolic uh, coming to the surface mm. of a collective understanding mm -hmm. that is, I think, the edge of the evolution of consciousness at yes. this time. We're no longer materialists, mm -hmm. strictly, because we understand, even scientifically, that there are subtle energetic fields that uh, are also part of our reality. Mm -hmm. And they become so subtle at certain points that we might call them uh, psychic mm -hmm. or uh, astral mm -hmm. or um, some kind of spiritual uh, energetic mm -hmm. that we're uh, participants mm -hmm. with it. Well, that's why I say your work is so important because you've created a vision of what people were feeling. So you've created a, a cognitive feature in people's psyche. A map. a map, right. So people would feel stuff and I'd hear them in the chapel and say, that's what I felt. So you're making people realize what they felt. You're giving recognition to a cognitive feature that we have in us. So you are then calling in this another, next age of awakening of who we are as human beings. It's, it's a carrot uh, on a stick mm. because uh, God throws visions and, and music and everything to the creative people and uh, they get to see it maybe uh, or they're the ones that are looking for it mm. and uh, then uh, if you can get it out uh, into a material form if you can download heaven to earth mm -hmm. then uh, people see that little chunk of shining heaven and they're drawn toward it like a magnet, evolutionarily. It resonates within their own bodies as, as self. I saw that. You I saw was it. And that. And Allison, too, was yes, part yes, of that yes. vision. It's exactly. not a leap of faith at that point. It's a, it's a natural knowing. You saw it's a place where you've been. And people can tell you that God doesn't exist and you just go, I just saw for God. You. Hey, I went there. I saw it. My, for my, you, it's for like me, saying, it exists. You yeah. know? It's like saying Egypt doesn't exist. Right. You know? I've been there. Well, I was there. Right. I saw it. There well, you are can't pyramids. argue with it. Elephants yeah. don't exist. There right. were people that didn't think that elephants existed right. because and they and didn't see People elephants. don't think spirit exists. I don't, well, if I they don't, haven't I don't been blame there. them. If they yeah. haven't been there, how can no, they but, know? But because... But there now are ways. I think the frequency of the planet, though, is getting to the place where we are vibrating in an essence where spirit is right here, where the incarnational the veil form is very exactly, thin, very and the power thin. of embodiment is yes. what bringing the spirit into form is all about.